those really weren't working out for me because I was not ready for the amount of work and um, quality standards that different people were used to when I was taught. But when I signed up for class, the next day I got an email from a friend saying that she, they were looking for a doorman or what is a bouncer at a, a bar in Pittsfield. And when I first thought of it, I thought the first thing that everyone comes to find, big guy, a suit with a yellow earpiece and big jewelry. <laughs> um, and I was ecstatic because it was a job, offered two weeks and wanted a little money. <laughs> um, so I said, yeah, uh, I'll go in there. And I tried the first night. I was uh, shocked at what little work I actually had to do. <laughs> but um, I took it because it was part of something I always wanted to try. It was in the beverage industry, which I just learned about the previous semester, so I wanted to try to see what I can use from that class to uh, fully grasp that aspect of the job, you know, checking IDs, which is harder than it actually sounds. And over the course of the month, I had different tasks that were not originally in the job description. With like, you know, cleaning up the bathrooms, um, busing tables, I thought that was just, you know, the bar, the wait staff there. And, and in August, one third Thursday, um, which is a big festival down in Pittsfield, uh, I was offered to actually behind, go behind the bar, finally. <laughs> uh, and I said, I'll take it. And I had no idea what to do. Um, so ten se I had 10 seconds to learn everything, where everything is. It was important because I wanted to prove them. Short notice, I had no idea what it was. I succeeded in not letting anything hit the fan. Um, so, what I'm basically trying to say is, even though things might not sound what they seem, or what your dream job is, you really can't say no because it really might change your whole perspective of what you want to do. Um, for instance, like, let's say you get into a, a small printing business, and to promote it, they're asking any employee who wants to dress up in a lobster outfit, or whatever, to get attention. You know what will happen. You'll get mocked, made fun of, and basically be insulted on a daily basis and sweat to, my, uh, to parts I know. Um, but you want to take, you want to volunteer. You don't want anyone else, you don't, get, you want to volunteer for that for three reasons. Recognition, to show that you're dedicated, and just to prove that you're a good employee willing to do anything for the company. And you know, handing out posters in a giant costume may not be your ideal job. Take it if the opportunity comes, because if someone else takes it, um, that person will get everything, all the respect that you could have gotten. 